Do you have a Google Smart Display like the Google Nest Hub or Nest Hub Max? These smart digital assistant devices with viewing screens can do so much from showing you cooking videos to letting you watch Netflix, plus giving you time, weather information, and more at a glance. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and you may have heard Google Nest Hubs can also be adjusted to show professional photos as a screensaver, or you can have your Nest Hub device show your own photos too, creating a customized family photo frame. Here's what you need to know to see your own photos on a Google Smart Display. An early heads up if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please mash that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Okay, so where are your Google Assistant photos? There are a few steps necessary to see your photos on your Google Smart Display. The first thing you need is a Google or a Gmail account. With a Gmail account or a Google account, you can upload photos to Google Photos, either automatically or as a backup from your photos, or manually by choosing your favorites. You can do it from pretty much any smartphone. It doesn't have to be an Android phone. iPhones will even work with this. When you have photos stored or saved in Google Photos, you'll be able to access them on any Google smart device with a screen. If you want to view your own photos on a Google Nest Hub, swipe up from the bottom of your display screen and choose Settings or the gear icon. Then select Photo Frame. Now you may need to activate Voice Match here first so Google knows it's really you that wants to share these photos. Follow the steps to opt in. Choose Art Gallery if you want a selection of professional photos and art, or if you want your own, pick Google Photos. You can select a few different options for your photos by choosing to view pictures of family and friends or specific albums that you've already created inside Google Photos. You can also select more than one album to play in rotation. If you've suddenly lost your ability to see photos on your Google Smart Display, a few things could be at play. You can try unplugging and plugging your device back in for the quickest, easiest, and most reliable fix. If perhaps your device might have had a firmware update and your settings were maybe somehow changed, you can follow the steps I shared earlier to reinstate your photo choice or your personal album. What about how to remove a photo from the Google Assistant display? If you accidentally end up with a photo cycling through your Google Nest Hub that you'd rather not see on repeat, ex-boyfriend, yeah, I got you, you can easily remove it from the device. You can, of course, go into your Google Photos app on your phone and just delete or remove it from any album you've created. Or you can also just get Google to handle okay. the file management remove for you. Simply say, OK, G, remove this to photo. Confirm. And this following a confirmation step is on the touch okay? screen, it's yes. gone. Google makes it pretty easy to manage the photos on your smart display with simple voice commands. You can even get information about the photos, too. When was this photo taken? To do something with your photos or to get more information, just say, hey, G, and then things like next photo, when was this taken, share this photo with your contact, or remove this photo. Share this photo with Roger. By the way, if you remove a photo, you will no longer see it on your smart display, and it's going to be archived in Google Photos. Managing photos and creating a beautiful, meaningful display from your smart home hub is actually pretty easy. That's everything you need to know. To read these instructions or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can visit digitaltrends.com where I posted this topic. By the way, though, if you want more how-tos and gadget reviews, visit techgadgetscanada.com. Did this video help you? If so, please mash that like button and hit me with a sub. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.